To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in CaOH2, that's calcium hydroxide, we'll use these rules here. First thing that we need to note is that calcium hydroxide, this compound here, it doesn't have a plus or a minus charge after it. That means it's a neutral compound, and all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. That's very helpful. So let's see, we have calcium, that's in group two. Elements in group two, they have a plus two oxidation number. The oxygen here, oxygen has a minus two oxidation number with just a few exceptions. So this is going to be minus two. And then hydrogen, when it's bonded to non-metal, so hydrogen bonded to non-metals, oxygen's a non-metal. That has a plus one oxidation number. And we can check this. All of these should add up to zero because this is a neutral compound. Let's try it. Plus two for the calcium, plus, and I'm just going to put my parentheses in, just like the formula. Oxygen's minus two, plus the one for the hydrogen. And then I have two of these hydroxides. Put a two here. That equals zero. So we have our plus two, plus minus one times that. That gives us minus two. That equals zero. So that makes sense. This is a true statement, right? Zero equals zero. So these are the correct oxidation numbers for each element here in CaOH2, calcium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.